Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, folks, with your uh, favorite ordinary VTuber called Ordinary. <laughs> Once again, welcome back. And if this is your first video, welcome. Hopefully, you enjoy your stay in my channel. So, today we are gonna continue playing Kill or Love. This is the 8th part. Damn, we've been through a lot. And finally, shit's getting real. We got into a intense fight and we almost died. Well, with a broken leg in the process. So, I want to con uh I cannot wait to continue. That's why the videos become more frequently. <laughs> but uh before we start, uh why don't you subscribe to my channel, you know, to support it, maybe. Well, uh, I'll be really happy if you support this channel, Kochi also, and Asa probably. <laughs> okay, uh, well, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's continue then, our journey. Oh, I cannot wait. What's gonna happen next? Okay, this is the last time we uh, ended the episode. I'm sorry for ending it in like a crucial moment. Well, uh, I don't want the video to be long, like I said before. But here we are now. Hopefully the video is gonna uh, upload as soon as I can. Okay, it depends on my internet speed. I come back to consciousness, gasping for a air. Uh, I mean, <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> I look at my leg. There is a blanket over it. I push the blanket aside. My leg is there in a cast. It's Ramrod streak. The sight calms me down. Uh, calms me. Chapter eight. All together now. Oh, I have a feeling that the story is gonna end soon. It's been a while, right? I love it. Only then do I realize that I'm not in my hospital bed. Oh yeah. So, we, this is actually uh, happens in real time, not in backstory anymore. I am in a wheelchair in some abandoned place. Anna? It's cold. God damn it, you. Uh, I'm sick of your uh, yandere bullshit. <laughs> oh, hi, yo, sleepyhead. Anna is there with a large set of who knows what at her feet. Oh, please, please, uh, not like grass body. I wait until my breath is back before speaking. Of course you are here. Has there ever been a bad moment in my life without you? She says nothing, only smiles. I look around. So, you kidnapped me. The hospital will find you. No, no, no. I didn't kidnap you, dear. You were discharged. I did all the paperwork and everything. And also, uh, and also sucks the doctor cock. 
I'm so sorry. You got out a little early. I'm sure that makes you glad. Well, it seems like I, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not getting out from this hell yet. But you were sleeping, so I had to sign for you as well. How's that happen? Like, does a nurse has that much power in a hospital? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know. Honestly, I, I don't really know. The doctor didn't mind much though. He even let me cancel your rehab facility stay. Damn, the spat actor. <laughs> yeah, I still hold with the theory. God damn it! That asshole of a doctor. So, nobody is looking for me. This is it. She has me where she wants me. She's one. Don't give up. I believe in you, Jack. Believe in Kamina who believes in you. <laughs> Or, at least, That's what I want her to think. Damn, he's not giving up yet. That's the spirit. I slip my thumb under my cast and smile. Oh, the thing under uh inside the doctor's breast pocket. I assume it's still there, right where I put it. Why did you bring me here, Anna? And where is here? You mean you don't recognize it? Take a look outside. Uh, this is the slum, I assume. I look out the busted windows. We are fairly high up. High up. On the ground below us is a sea of tall grass. Written by Stephen King. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the middle of the grass is a square of dark concrete. This is... This is where you show your love to me. Don't say that with your blast, and also you drop me multiple times. By burning everything that reminded you of that girl, and then she's burned grass. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Tell me where is she? Where she is? Now. Oh. I was surprised how nonchalant you were about this. Damn! So the back is actually grass. Anna kicks the back at her feet, and it whines. Oh God! It's is uh, it is on the back. It's grace, bone, and gag. Untie her, goddammit! Can't you see she's hurt? Jack, that's the whole plan. Anna wants Grace to suffer. <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, she's not hurt. She's fine. See? Anna removes the rack she she stuff in Grace's mouth. I gave her water and kept her fed and everything. That sounds like a torture. Well, most of the time, when I'm remember, 
but I tell you what, she used to be a real handful. Grace only stares blankly. Ah. Oh. Let Grace go, you monster. Or should I say, you wolf? <laughs> Take the scuffs off. Grace's arm are cuffed behind her back. Her legs are cuffed together too. She is mumbling something now. Let her go yourself. I'll give you the key. Anna dangles the key in my face. It's never that easy with you. What do you want? Huh? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? You're asking me what I want, Jack? Oh. Uh, I mean, uh, I gonna be honest, that angry smile, uh, I mean that angry face, it's actually cute, I like it. I want the same cuss darn thing I've been telling you all this time. I want you to remember us. Well, I remember. Uh, you do? My feelings come pouring out of me. I've kept them bottled up for so long. Yes, I do. You killed my family, my father, my mother, and even my fucking dog. You bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. There. Are you happy, you sick freak? I saw your little picture book. That's how you have fun, is it? Reminiscing or reminiscing? Is that what you want me to remember too, huh? So you can see me scream. And beg for my life? Well, fuck you! I'm not begging for anything. Oh, I like that sound. I take out the scalpel I stole from the doctor and hit under my chest. If you come any closer, I'll gut you, I swear. Tell me, did you bleed? <laughs> you will. Now, let Grace go. This is between you and me only. She has nothing to do with it. Don't ruin more people's life than you already have. Uh, Jack? I'm not asking twice. Do it! Oh, Jack. Anna heaves a resigned sigh. You really know how to disappoint a girl. Well, are you count as a girl? <laughs> I mean, do you count as a girl? When I, when you said, ah, oh, darn it. I should have known, but for a second. What the hell are you talking about? Jack, you. Ah, oh, fine. I'm done trying to do this, even though it would've been so romantic. 
wait is the memory of Jack that Jack assume is uh, his past was wrong maybe <laughs> is it a twist what are you I feel something bad coming oh. get ready folks she reached into her purse take out something small oh I'm sorry she lets it fall to the ground it's my journal she found it. she found it my hands are shivering I don't understand Jack uh, what you got it all wrong even after seeing the picture book I didn't kill your family Did Jack kill his own pa parents? Oh! <laughs> oh, the chill! Oh. Okay, that's far worse. Jack... Jack kills Anna family? Oh what? Wait, so is the wolf is represent Jack from the first time? And after after seeing uh after Anna see Jack kill them, uh it uh it open her yandere uh yandere emotion I guess. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. I expect most of the thing for as a twist, but not this. Oh, oh! <laughs> you scares me. <laughs> oh. My body shaking right now, shivering in fear. Uh, I'm such a scaredy cat. I'm so sorry. Her words are ones I hadn't considered. I hadn't dare consider them. So I might check. But now, they've been said. I know that they are true. And the truth hits me like a bullet between the eyes oh the dam I've had in my brain for 15 years breaks spills over memories come gushing out spooky airbrush uh, MS pen effect where am I? It's somewhere dark and cramped. A hidey hole. I am hiding. I'm back there. I don't think I ever really left. Where are you, Jack? Stop running away. No. No. Please don't let him find me. Please. Oh. There you are. Pain 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, like it's weird because just one word like pain, it uh, it takes my memory about that one meme that I seen yesterday. So much pain, it makes me vomit. I'm not used to it yet. I'll never be used to it. I didn't think anyone could live with this pain. I can't. Uh, Mom? Help me. Cold eyes. Like she is looking at dirt. She's always like, uh, it's always like this. Day in, day out. It will never stop. But one day, it does stop. There is silence. Nothing but silence. Oh, I have bad feeling about this. A quiet, so bottomless, it lets nothing exist. Especially not me. It isn't bad. There is no pain. You know, that's a really good twist. I didn't expect that. But things start moving again. I have no say in the matter. I'm being swept along. You know, uh, it's really cool they use a uh, actual picture for the background. It's a... Uh, it makes the aesthetic, you know. It's all right now, Jack. You're safe with us. A pair of warm strangers. I can't let. I can't even imagine how tough it was for you. You can call me mom if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, mom. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Jack. We love you. They pretend to be nice. They pretend to like me. They give me food to eat and give me books to read and all sorts of other things. They are trying to make me like them. They are very clever. But I'm more clever than they are. It's getting red. Somebody kills the, their dog. I like the dog. They must have killed the dog. It's what they'll do to me too. I know what they are like. What they are all like. I don't want to die. I've got used to living again. So one night, I take a knife. I visit the girls, uh, the girl they are keeping, with their blood still on me. I did it. Uh, did what? What was that noise? I thought it would be obvious with all that blood. 
I say it anyway. They are dead. Dead. The girl's eyes open wide. Her grip on her pillow tightens. Who is mom and dad? I thought she'll be happy, but she starts crying. They are not happy tears, they are sad tears. Scared tears too. She's holding the pillow between us like she wants it to put, protect her. She's afraid of me. Why? You are free now. They won't hurt you. Oh, it's getting intense. She cries harder. It's so piercing in my ears. I don't understand. I did a good thing. I'll see you later. The crying is so loud, I have to go outside. It's cold. Steam rises from the warm blood. I did a good thing. Didn't I? I did. But there is doubt now. I think their eyes, when they woke up, with their necks open up. They weren't angry. I didn't know what they were. Now, I think they were sad. I am confused. So, so confused. I've never been this confused. I dropped the knife. Subs come out of me even though I don't want to cry. It's all too much. The whole world has come crashing down on me. I can't handle it. I'll break. I hear a voice then. It's coming from inside me. It's my own voice. It's whispering. It says, This did not happen to you. It didn't happen at all to anyone. It was all a dream. You'll forget about it in the morning. So I lay down and I sleep. And by morning, I have forgotten. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know it's in this moment. I am trying to not to make any comment, but yeah, that's convenient. If only I can forget everything just like that. Too bad Asa keep reminding me about my uh, dark past. <laughs> this all comes back to me in a single flash of understanding. I, st I sit there for a minute, barely breathing, as the wake of it pass over me you know uh i still not 
trust it 100%. What I think like uh maybe when uh Anna try to Anna light and try to uh disrupt my my, my past memory and my uh my brain you know like Jack's brain just assume that it's it's what happened even though it's not true like he's being uh manipulated right now because he's so confused and also the uh the uh, allegedly uh Anna's lie with quotation mark lie it's too much and it makes Jack more confused But who knows? Uh, let's see what happened. When I finally look around again, I realize my jaw hurts. I've been clenching it. Do you? Yes. Oh. I... Remember now. Anna still looks suspicious of me. Can you prove it? You used to have short hair, Anna. I teach you about it. I said, you look like a boy. Oh. Now I want to see like a child Anna version with short hair. You are... Anna takes a few steps towards me. She collapses with her head in my lap. You're back! I am so happy. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did I just uh uh daydreaming? I mean, I'm appreciating the art. You know what? The art style is really good. Yeah. I cannot uh. I cannot stress that enough. The art is... Uh, I really like the art. That's about it. I am so happy I could die. Hora, hora. I run my fingers through her hair. Oh. Damn. Imagine... Oh. Uh, Damn, imagine how shocked Chris gonna be with, uh, witnessing that, you know? Her heart must be broke, maybe his, her mind are already broke. I can't help but pity her. Anna starts talking, but her sobs make it hard for her to speak. I knew, I knew if I waited, you'd come back to me. That was really cruel, you know? What you did... Oh... I mean, Anna looks genuinely relieved. And if that's actually true... Well, that means Anna ha hasn't murdered someone. Wait, 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 wait. No, she said about her other couples that bores him. There's still something. You know, uh, maybe after witnessing Jack's murder, his, uh, her parents, she becomes as messed up as Jack and probably kill more people, you know? So, Anna is not completely clean now, okay? I still think Anna is a bad person. But now Jack's also bad. 
you you shock me everything and then went away I offer her the the end of my blanket she blows her nose on it and takes a few deep breaths to calm herself uh, arigato you, you taught me everything you know jack I can I can't even thank you enough for that. At first, I was scared, and I hated you. I was really stupid, huh? But the more I thought about you, and I thought about you a lot, the more the tr- the truth becomes so obvious. You got Stockholm Syndrome, Anna. I cannot believe I... I cannot believe I uh, I defended Anna right now. <laughs> oh, what a twist, you know? That's really good. You showed me what the world is really like. They are sheep and they are wolves. You are a wolf, and I am too, right? That's what you saw in me back then, right? That's why you spared me. And that's why I love you, because we were meant for each other. And make more psychopath baby. You love me? I do. Daisuke des. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay, uh, can we stop now? <laughs> I love you. And you love me too. I don't know, like the way she said I love you multiple times, it sounds like hypnotized. There's still something. I still not trust Anna 100% now. Maybe it's a lie. Like I said before. I see. Anna kisses me on the cheek before picking the scalpel up from the ground. I drop it at some point. She places it gently in my lap when wills me offer to Grace. You want me to kill Grace? Grace is lying on her side. Oh, she witnessed everything. Her eyes are focused now. They are looking at me. But I can't help but feel she's not seeing me. I'm close enough to hear what words she's hissing out. Kill her. Kill her. Korose <laughs> I'm sorry Please There's a whistling quality to her voice I bend down and pull her lips back She's missing some teeth God damn, what did you do, Anna? You know what? Maybe Jack looks evil now, but you're equally evil, so... Ah. Why have you tortured Chris like that, man? I turn to Anna. Ah? Uh, well... 
that's uh how many just four four <laughs> no more than that and I didn't enjoy it or anything she just really wouldn't shut up uh, until I did that and the eyes dart sideways I follow them and see a pair of players on the gar on the ground alongside a towel and a bottle of what might be rubbing alcohol are you mad i don't answer how do i feel you know i didn't kill buddy what? You didn't? No. Then, who did? I struck. It could have been anyone. Anna thinks it over, but eventually also struck. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. Hehe. <laughs> I guess it doesn't. No, it did. Damn. You know what? Devs makes a uh, makes a uh, spin-off where you sh when uh, to uncover the mystery who kills body. You know. Killing animal is big deal. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, make a spin-off, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna support your next game. I because I enjoyed so far. What? What's it? Uh, what does it mean? Oh, wait, is Jack planning to kill Grace? What? Oh, okay, this is our first choice. And they give us a heavy choice right now. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna save real quick. PRB. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while since I said that. Alright, uh, I'm back. So, I've been thinking, uh, thinking for a while. And, you know what? Maybe Jack is fucked up in the head. And, maybe Anna's too. But Chris? So far, she's just a regular girl. You know, uh, we still don't know what happened in her past, but... I believe it's not gonna be as bad as mine, you know, like Jack's one. And I don't think she deserve it. So I'm gonna choose Jack doesn't kill Chris. Because can we stop killing each other now? You know, like starting a normal life. <laughs> so yeah. You know, uh, actually, I'm planning to try all the endings, so we'll be back in this. But this is gonna be my first, you know, like the the true experience that I'm doing right now. After that, I'm gonna go back and see all the endings. So here we go. Kiss. Hmm. Give me the kiss, Anna. Are you sure? Yes. 
Anna looks at me very carefully. In the end, she hands me the keys to Grace's scarf. I bend over and to the side so I can unlock them. It's very awkward at first, but I soon get the hang of it and the Grace is free. She's lying down on the ground. I think she's asleep. I touch one of her wrists when the cuffs have dig into her skin. She breathes in sharply but doesn't wake up. That's gonna be hurt. Especially uh, if you have like uh, open wounds in dirty environment like this building. I hope it's uh it's not get infected. Her lips are cracked. She's very pale. Stay hydrated, folks. You know what? Uh, I'll give you a drinking break right now. Go get your drink. Or you can just pause the video. What what do I say? This is not live stream. Oh, why did you do that? Why do you think? I asked you first. I place my blanket under Grace's hand, so it isn't touching the hard concrete. Good move, good move, I like it. Is it part of your plan? I, I will myself around to face Anna. My arms are already tired. I'm weak. Check. The scalpel is still in my lap. My plan, huh? That's the secret. I don't have a plan. <laughs> by master plan another choice really oh oh so this is to separate the ending but you know what uh i've i'm kind of decide what i'm gonna do uh let's stop killing each other you know like like it's happened in the past let's just move on start a new life start your debut as vir virtual youtuber <laughs> you know what? uh killing each other won't change anything it's just you know like let's just move on everyone stop killing each other let's stop the this uh murder spree okay we are done okay we are done torturing and killing each other let's be friends or lover if you say it so okay i gotta be honest with you at first i thought i i'm gonna when they Give me a choice to kill Anna. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pick that choice without hesitate. But now, after seeing the whole picture, maybe the whole picture. Maybe there's another twist after this. But I think I had enough for from this murdering spree. So for my first playthrough, I'm gonna choose this. But like I said before. Uh, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna look at all the endings. So, yeah, let's end this. I toss the scalpel out through one of the glassless windows. It makes no sound as it hits the ground. That's the secret. 
There is no plan. There is never been one. Anna stares. Go call for help. We need to get get Grace to the hospital. Who are you? Oh, is Anna gonna snap? Hello? Hey, 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 hello. <laughs> My name is Jack. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's nice to meet you. Uh, no, no. You are not. How can... How come you remember everything? And you are... You're still... I thought... Uh, I'm sorry, Anna. People growing up, do you know? Like... People's not gonna become evil all the time, but it's gonna be cool for the main villain, you know? I cause you so much harm, more than I can repay, ever. Uh, no, you never... I killed your parents. Who cares about that? Well, you should, what the hell? They were sheep. They were people, unlike us. <laughs> we are people too. Oh, this is like the mob psycho moment, you know, when the when Reagan uh, try to slap all the psychic to tell you, no, you're just regular people, just like us. That's so fucking cool moment. I love it. There's only people. Oh. They're still in denial. Come on. But uh, we, we have the, uh, the, the lead now. Anna is not in the contra anymore. Uh, where is I? <laughs> it's true. No. Chigaimas. <laughs> I mean, you're wrong. I'm so sorry. Cannot argue with facts and logic. <laughs> oh! Anna takes out a knife and holds it to my throat. Easy now, woman. It is it Grace's knife? The one she wanted to kill Anna with? I'm not sure. It could be. Either way, she has it pressed against my juggler. Stop playing tricks with me. Please. That's the secret. Uh, I mean, that's the secret. There is no tricks. I just spent $500 <laughs> to buy magic tricks. To impress my gr my wife, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take it. Don't do this, Anna. If she kills me, her future is done for. I can't let that happen. This is my fault. Damn, such a responsible guy. I like it. Put the knife down. Or what? You... You'll do what? I won't do anything. I'd never hurt you. I want you to be happy. But then... 
Anna forces my fingers around the knife's handle. Oh. No, you, you need to snap, snap out of it, Anna. Just start your ordinary life. Maybe open streaming channel, you know, like doing some just talk commentary channel. Take this and wiping her eyes, she turns my wheelchair until I'm facing Grace. Do it. I'll be happy then. Kill her. No. I can't. Uh, why not? I'm not who you think I am. The man she thought I was I was doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you know. <laughs> He never did. What I did when we were kids was a mistake. I'm... No. I mean, no. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't. You... You are... You were my... My hero. How? How could you see a cold, cold-blooded murder as your hero? I cannot grasp that idea, you know? I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm not a psychopath. Not yet. <laughs> oh, she's getting desperate. Uh, right? She's struggling. She might accept the truth. Or maybe she won't. It can't be easy, realizing there was no meaning behind the most important important thing that ever happened to you. I can't stand watching her. I squeeze my eyes shut. A part of me wishes Anna will reject the truth, because then she won't blame me. The kill I have right now is already so strong, it could crush me. If she starts blaming me for what happened, I don't know what I'll do. But I also see how selfish this is. I should feel guilty. I am guilty. I've gone all these years without even knowing about the horrible things I've done. That's a crime in itself. I'm surprised you haven't get cut off yet because, you know, there's probably a fingerprints or maybe because all police in here are just so corrupt. In this world, I deserve every bad thing that comes my way. I should be shot, I should be hanged, worse things too, and I don't have the right to complain. I realize I'm still holding the knife. What if I... Don't kill yourself? No, 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 we're so close, okay? We're so close to have a normal life. Don't, please don't ruin it. There is a hand on my shoulder. Chris? I don't want to look. I look. What is it? Damn. Well, uh, let's continue. A cold breeze wakes me up. 
Thank God, something woke me up. I had been stuck in the past. You are finally awake, Jack. You tried to cross the border. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. I already did that, that joke yesterday. Did you have a nice dream? Ah, oh, I. Should I tell her? I don't remember. Is this a real life or just a fantasy? Okay. Maybe when I woke up, everyone's dead. I I still have a bad feeling. This is not over yet. I was about to wake you up myself. You can ask us to come out here and then spend all day snoozing. It's not fair. Oh, that's cute. I laugh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll make it up for you next time, alright? Uh, well, okay then. I'll s if you say so. Grace flashes me a smile. She got all her teeth again. What? Oh. Is it actually the happy ending? She used to have an outline of a wound on her neck, but that's gone now too. Not a trace of it. You could say that about all three of us, not a trace of anything. Did we do it? Did we finally have a happy ending? Oh, I'm starting to believe. If someone came walking by, they might think we have we had no mem we, no worries or regrets or anything bad in our lives at all. The girls are up on the feet. I'll try uh, I try to get up too, but I'm having trouble. Need some help? Yeah, please. Anna takes my right hand. Grace scrambles to take my left. Aww. They pull me up together. We start slowly walking back. I really have slept a long time. The sun is much farther in the sky than it was. It's casting long shadows. There are people watching us from afar. When are we going to do this again? I don't know. When we can? Promise it won't take too long. In the next life <laughs> yeah I promise this seems to satisfy her I take a deep breath my lungs fill with fresh air <sighs> I love it here it's so peaceful there is nothing around for miles. Nice house. We, we, well, almost nothing. There is that one building. It looks like a mansion. You wouldn't think it was anything else. It's great out here, isn't it? It's pretty nice. 
Yeah, it isn't home, but I really like it here. And I've met so many new people. You know, if there's one thing I managed to learn here, is that you need as many friends as you can get in life. I mean, it's uh, you need as many friends as you can get in life. Sorry if I chop that sentence. A whole bunch of people to love. It makes everything so much easier to bear. And you may get hurt, sure, but that's just how life is. Yeah, like uh, like a wise man said, of uh, a fighting in a relationship means healthy relationship, okay? I guess to most people this is all extremely obvious, but it took me long. Uh, it, it took me a long time to figure out. At one point, I even thought I would make it through life alone. And maybe I could have made it alone. But I didn't have to. Grace showed me this. Grace taught me how sweeter life was when you had someone to share it with. But even after learning that, I was still cold and rude to people. I was cold and rude to people I work with and to the people patients in the hospital. I was like that with anyone other than Grace. That was no way to live life. It was Anna. Uh, I mean it was Anna who in her own way, told me that I had to change. One person to share life with is not nearly enough. It's like building a house with only a single thin wall. A house with only one wall. That's the metaphor I heard use. I think it's a good one. If there is only one relationship in your life that really matters and something happened to th that relationship, your whole life can crumble just like that. If I had known this from the start, things could have gone a lot better. But I didn't know it, so that's that. There is no use beating myself up over it, not over that. I should be grateful instead. I don't think I'll ever thank you too enough. Thank us for what? For helping me sort of sort out my mess of a life. That's a strange way to describe what I did. No, for real. I mean it. Thank you. Uh, what's with that all of a sudden? I just feel like saying it. We take a little break so I can stretch my leg. Oh, this is the, re the rehab thing, you know? I believe this probably the rehab place. I messaged my knee. It's starting to hurt. I met someone new the other day, by the way. In all honesty, I'm bad at meeting new people, at making friends. But I damn well try. I met a woman named Anne. Funny, right? I'll have to introduce you to her like I think you'll get uh, you really get along. A woman? Hey, don't get jealous now. <laughs> I'm not. 
Mo. <laughs> Cute. There's no reason for you to be jealous of anyone, Grace. Or you, Anna. You are the most important people to me in the world. That's true. <coughs> Excuse me? That's true. And the girls know it's true. They mean the world to me. I care about them. And they care about me. And that's what truly matters. Jack, did you happen to dreaming about what happened before? Why the music stop? I don't like it. Ugh. How do you know these things? I just a guess. And it looked like you were having a nightmare. Does that still bother you? Of course, it still bothers me. Everything that happened was my fault, after all. Again, with that... Jack, do you think your new friends want to see you blame yourself? Do you think we want that? To see you in pain? You should let it go, our lady. No, I can't do that. We need to find out who kills Buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone's got to take the blame. I will now allow a crime. Uh, I mean, I will not allow a crime that horrible go unpunished. I can't let myself go blameless. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, if no if no one else find me finds me guilty, I will find myself guilty. Or oh, is Jack hurting herself himself in the back? The world needs to be fair. Then, I'm to blame as well. I did some disgusting things. Uh, me too. If things has gone how I wanted, I would have done something really bad. Thanks, tr thanks for trying, Chris. <laughs> but I think you're still innocent. So we still shouldn't be forgiven either. No, that's different. What I did was much worse. For God's sake, you two. I killed people who are doing their best to help me. Your parents, Anna. If I don't feel guilty for that, what should anyone feel guilty for? I did something unforgettable. I mean, unforgivable. I deserve much worse than just feeling guilty. Oh, don't break the mood, man. Grace and Anna look at each other, worried. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything stupid. If I thought there was no point in going, a uh, point in going on, if I thought we were beyond saving, I would have ended it. All in the em in that empty building. You don't mean that. The pain in my knee has spread upwards. My thigh is cramping. I sit down in the grass. Your leg hurts. Yeah. Maybe that means it will rain soon. What does that mean? Yeah, maybe that's it. Can I help? 
but it's fine. It will pass. You shouldn't be so selfish, Jack. What? About my leg? No. You know I'm not talking about that. You say you can't forgive yourself for what you did, but you are only thinking of yourself. I know. She's right. You're not thinking about how people around you feel. I know. I know, but I just can't. You too. Do you not feel bad about what you did? Or try to do? Their eyes meet again. The music is gone. Of course we feel bad. Yeah, and I'm hoping... Uh, I'm not going to lie. There's still plenty of bad feelings between us. How could there not be? But we both know what we need to do. We need to move on. That's right. There is no point. Not to forget what happened, but to accept it and keep on living. Damn, this is the first time I agree with Anna. Jack, you need to move on. Uh, everyone's suffered enough. We haven't managed that yet, but... At least we're trying. So please, try with us. Triple dot. Can I do that? Can I make myself throw away this awful wake? That's it! I believe in you, Jack! I'll try. Okay. I can't say I'll do it, but I promise I will try. Thank you. That's all we wanted to hear. Now, help me get up, will you? You know, we were just talking about something, Anna and me, while you were asleep. We were saying how to someone just walking by, we would look totally carefree. No kidding, I must have heard you in my sleep. I was thinking the same thing. It's true, we managed to make it out of that madness without any real scars to show for it. Um, I mean, that's your leg, but a fine scar indeed. Don't worry, it will heal too. So, if you go by that, there's no reason why our spirits wouldn't heal either. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Don't you think so too? And don't you think it would be nice? Yeah, I see what you mean. It would be nice. It's not the most exciting thing to look forward to, but it really would be nice. You know what? Screw excitement. I had enough of that. Give me a boring life. Anna laughs. Damn. Honestly, I'm the opposite. I don't want a boring life. But I don't. Uh, I, I'm not going to be a murderer, okay? <laughs> it's just I want. Uh, I want some spice in my life. Anna laugh. I feel the same way. 
I'm so much more at peace now. Without all that excitement. Hmm? Yeah, I get it too. Let's go then. I take the girls by their hands. Huh? What are you are what are we doing? What do you mean? We got boring, happy lives to look forward to. I take a few grand step forward. My leg crumbs up again. It sends me tumbling to the ground. Oh, what what happened? Jack, are you alright? Are you hurt? Laughter spills out of me. I'm not hurt at all, but I had such a dumb fall that I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> Damn. You know what? I feel that my heart feels lighter now. It feels like the cloud is finally gone and I can see the sunshine. The girls see see I'm okay. So they laugh a little too. Seeing them happy warms my heart. And at, the, at that moment, I've made my decision. I told them I would try to stop blaming myself. But I didn't truly mean it. What? Oh, don't do that, Jack. Come on, you can try. I believe in you. Stop blaming yourself. I mostly said it because they wanted me to say it. But now, I'm sure. I'll do anything to make them happy. To make them happy? I'll stop myself from being miserable if I can. No, I know I can do it. I'll do it for them. I'll shake off this week. And I'll be happy. I think I've stumbled upon something incredible. I found myself a life worth living. Oh, damn. Happy ending! Andy Church? You fucking amazing! I fucking love you, man! That's a really good story. It's... It's simple, it's short, and it's fucking well done. Damn. Ah, I'm speechless. It's such a happy ending, I didn't expect that. Thank you for reading. Thank you for writing this, man! Damn, it's such an amazing story. I love it. Ah, oh. My heart feels so light now. Okay. Uh, damn. You know... I don't expect the happy ending to be that, you know, like, that happy. But I think we did the right thing, you know, like, choosing not to kill anyone. And stop the, this madness all over. I love it. But now, we will go back in time and try all the endings. We'll see what, what's gonna happen. So, let's go then! Oh, I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen. Uh, 
my plan was trying to uh, continue to do all the bad ending but after seeing the footage I think I've played long enough I don't want the, uh, the gameplay to be too long this is even longer than I used to record so unfortunately I'm gonna end the episode right here but before we end it, uh, I'm gonna give me my final, I mean my initial thought right now, you know, like my opinion about this story. Overall, I really enjoy this story. You can say, uh, you can hear by how genuine I, I am enjoy, uh, enjoying reading this. It's such a good read. And... Yeah, uh, I don't believe, uh, I can't believe the, the, the good endings to be is, it's, the good ending is just uh, simple, but it tastes really sweet, you know, like the sweet, sweet of happy life. I cannot wait to see what's gonna, uh, what's bad ending gonna be, what they, they will do for us, and I feel like it gonna be good if uh, I separate it as well. You know, so one episode's gonna be s just all the bad endings to see how fuck ups gonna be. And yeah, the music is uh, the music's good, but I think uh, I think the music is from the free music. I heard that uh, those soundtrack before, but it's still good touch. You know, like it gives the atmosphere. Like I, I already said the, the art it's so amazing. I love it. And the uh the backgrounds make so much uh aesthetic in it. Both of them are cute, you know. And after seeing that, uh yeah I'm I'm I need to say it now. I'm so sorry I'm not to to be so much cruel to you. It turns out to you you're fine. Yeah. The problem is check, okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so now I can say an uh, a nice waifu material. She's still kinda yandere though. Yeah, uh, maybe some. Okay, uh, I, th I think I say enough for the good part. Um, now let's move on to the part that I don't really like. I don't say it's bad. It's more like uh, I don't really think it's a good choice. First, the uh the the choice version is not really that high. You know that, that there is not too much choice, and probably the choice is just to determine the ending. But uh, it's better than give you so many choice throughout the story. But the choice doesn't matter at the end. It's just an illusion. Uh, I think this is better initial touch. And I know this is just a small game. Uh, and I don't expect like full art CG. You know, like the the art itself and the description just give enough imagination for me. I don't need to see the art because <laughs> they give me the disclaimer uh, at the beginning but I already ex it makes me expect something gory gonna happen but for the happy ending there is nothing so I'm glad but maybe we're gonna see some gory stuff for the bad ending I don't know but uh, I'm excited maybe I'm, I'm gonna record it tomorrow <laughs> The one thing I don't really enjoy, it's the part when, uh, you know, like they try to make the suspense, but we already, we already know the outcome, because uh, that's the first thing we know, but I don't think it's the bad choice, because the actually the first part, you know, like the, they go straight to the point without, uh, and then tell explain better, it, it hooks me up 
from the beginning from the first 15 minutes it's so fun it's so exciting and maybe I'm just nitpicking at this point but yeah so that's it for my opinion I really enjoy it and hopefully you enjoy it as well it's such a wild ride and unfortunately every good story needs to be over but it's not over yet there is one more episode for the all the bad endings but for now that's it uh, if you like this video please consider to subscribe and like this video to, to support it I really appreciate it hopefully uh, one day I can monetize this video so I can post more video regularly yeah uh, that feels weird to say but well if, if I can get so, some income from this video it'll, it'll help me a lot helps me a lot especially in this you know it's mess of times you know what happened in 2020 <laughs> Okay, I went to tangent, I'm so sorry. So, I'll see you guys later, and have a lucky day! Oh! Wait, Kojia, you been here all along? What, since I screaming? Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Why did you in- uh, I didn't hear you knock the door. Oh, I must be so invested in the story, I'm so sorry. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's over now. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Okay, good night, Kochi, yeah?